it's Casey and this is going to be the first part of a series that I am going to do over the next whenever and I actually kind of started it a while ago with my first one which was my Sephora must haves mascara and it was just kind of an overall review of some of my Sephora mascaras but this one is just going to be it's like starting fresh because I have changed some of those products since then and I wanted to start fresh with face and so that is going to be this part and it is my Sephora must have face products so let's just jump right in. So the great thing about Sephora is they have so many different brands from many different price ranges but a lot of them are kind of higher end prices. So starting off with primer, I think that primer is definitely something that is worth the splurge because it is kind of that base for your makeup and something that keeps it on for a long time. So I have two primers that I love from Sephora. The first one is my Smashbox Photo Finish Light Foundation Primer. This is definitely my favorite primer of all time and one that I use every single day. So I would definitely suggest trying this out if you are looking for a good primer. And the next one is a primer that I use not necessarily for everyday use, but I do use it on occasion. It is one that I do like, but lately I haven't been reaching for it as much just because I haven't been finding I need it. But it is the Benefit Professional Foundation Primer and it just gives a very nice smooth clean finish to your face and makes it very like flawless I guess and gives it more of an airbrush look. Next up I have foundations and I definitely think that foundation is something that I personally like to splurge on and would prefer to splurge on more than say concealers which I will talk about later but I definitely find that foundation is something that I prefer to splurge on because it is kind of the base of your makeup and kind of what the main part of your makeup is, I guess, because it gives your face a nice clean finish. So I have two foundations that I absolutely love. The first one that I have is a Benefit foundation, and it is my Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow foundation. I absolutely love the feeling of this one. The only problem that I find is that the color range isn't so great. So I find it doesn't fit me during most of the year, but there are certain times of the year that I can wear it, and I definitely do. So I love this foundation. The feeling of it is absolutely amazing, and it gives a very nice flawless finish, and I just dropped one. Sorry about that. And the next one is definitely one of my favorite foundations, and it is my Makeup Forever HD foundation. You guys know I absolutely love this foundation. It gives a very flawless airbrush finish, very HD makeup. I actually have it on today, and so I really like it because it gives it a nice look for filming because it takes away the redness that I have because I do have quite a bit of redness in my cheeks, as most of you guys know. If you watch my Getting Ready videos, you'd be like, yeah, you do. So I absolutely love that foundation as well. If I were to be doing my face makeup right now, next up I would have concealers. For me, I don't think that concealers are worth the splurge because I find that I don't really use concealer all that often. I don't necessarily need it, so it's not something that I'm willing to spend more than 10 bucks on because I'm not going to be using it every day. So that is kind of my justification for why some things I would recommend from Sephora, some things I'm like, eh, you could probably pass up. So I don't use concealers from Sephora. Next up I have setting powders. I have two setting powders here. One of them is a mini size and this is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder. It is just a loose powder. That's the only thing I don't like about it is I'm not a big fan of loose powders, but this one gives such an amazing feel to your skin. It gives a very like velvety feel to your skin, which I like, and I use this for prom, and it's great because it doesn't give that white cast that some SPF setting powders will, and so I really like it, and I definitely think that it is worth the money. And the final setting powder that I have is my Bare Minerals Ready SPF Touch Up Veil. You guys know that I love this. This is definitely my favorite setting powder of all time. I barely made a dent in it even though I use it all the time like I can't even see where it's gonna hit pan but it's just absolutely amazing sorry am I blinding you guys no it's just a translucent powder it doesn't give a powdery look it doesn't give a too cakey look I love it it's great I talk about it non-stop so I'm gonna stop rambling moving on to bronzers I have one bronzer and it kind of transitions me into blush and it is my Hoola bronzer by Benefit. I absolutely love the box powders from Benefit. That is why I'm saying it's transitioning me because I have quite a few box powders. Three of them I would definitely recommend. First one is my Hoola bronzer. I love it as a bronzer. It's a bit too dark for me right now but during the summertime it's great because it's a great kind of brown color that's not too orange or muddy. Moving on I have a bronzer slash highlighter duo and the highlighter in it is definitely one of my favorites. It's just a nice kind of pinky white highlighter but not too white because it still has that pink and it just gives a really nice glow to your cheeks and I love it for the summertime when it just kind of gives a brightened look and I like it a lot. And finally I have my Benefit box powder in Hervana and this is definitely one of my favorite blushes. It is kind of a blue toned pink which I like because I like more cooler toned products on my skin I guess and this is just kind of a blue based lilac -y, pinky mauve color whatever. It's a pinwheel pattern look on it and it's just really cute. I love these for traveling also because they're so small, so compact, and you're not worried about them like getting all messed up. 
and they're super cute and they fit in my drawer perfectly because I can just line them all up and look all nice or you can stock them if you have a whole lot of makeup. They're great. I love the shape of them. I love the packaging because the cap is held on. It has a mirror. Love them. Done. Also for blush, I have my NARS blushes. I love these. The pigmentation on them is absolutely amazing. And I definitely find that when I wear them, they do last quite a long time. I have three of them here. I think I have one other, but three of them that I would recommend the colors. First one is my favorite one. It is in NARS Deep Throat. All of them kind of have more scandalous names, so sorry about that. But this is just a nice kind of peachy pink with a little bit of shimmer, but not too much shimmer, which is nice because I don't like my blushes to have a lot of shimmer in them. The next one that I have is in Desire, and this is just a neon pink. And it's really nice in the summertime when you just want to pop a pink on your cheeks. And I love it. And this one is also matte, so that's perfect. And the final one is one that is a little bit different for me for blush. And it is just this bronzy kind of color. And it has a little bit of shimmer. This one I find I use mainly in the winter time, which is kind of weird. But I use it just to warm up my cheeks and give kind of a more bronzy look if I want to have a very, like, summery look in the winter time. I love it. It's perfect. And the final product that I have is also a blush, and this is going to come as no surprise to y'all, and it is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. I have two of them here, which are my two favorite colors. The first one is in Amuse, and it's just a brighter pink color with no shimmer in it. I like this one better for summer because it is a bit brighter on me. And the next one that I have is my absolute favorite blush of all time. It is going to come as no surprise to y'all, and it is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Doll Face. It is just the perfect pink for me, and I think it's a really universally flattering color. It's definitely one that I would suggest for many people and pretty much everybody because I love it and it's my favorite. So that is the end of this Sephora Must Haves Part 1 face products. Just make sure you've seen all my past videos. I've been posting videos like crazy because it's something that I love to do. So I hope you guys have been seeing them all. I've pretty much been posting every other day. Sorry that my voice is so like I am sick but I really wanted to film for y'all and I had my makeup on because I filmed another video. So that is why I'm filming when I sound like this. Sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.